Hey, how's it going everyone? One Doctor Genius here and welcome back to another Prodigy video. In this Prodigy video, we I will be showing you guys the items which you guys can expect yourselves to get from the Ice Tower. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on straight to that. So the first thing which is going to be general information, you guys know that the Warden of the Ice Tower is going to be Ada. And from the looks of it, it seems like it might be a relative of Bok the Bigfoot. Wait, are they Bigfoot? Well, I don't know. Either way, what happens to be is that the Warden will be Ada. Now, another thing which you guys may or may not know is that the Keystone, you will need to be at least level 35 to place down the Pedestal Keystone. From what I remember from one of my first previous videos when we got to the Earth Tower. The Ice Tower will follow the same set of rules as the Earth Tower. Like, it will have an Ice Wheel which you guys will be able to spin after you complete 8 floor, 10 floors actually. Yeah, so there are 10 floors in this, there are 10 floors in the Earth Tower. So basically, what you guys will have to do is you'll complete, you'll have to complete 10 floors with 3 battles each with 3 person monster battles. Basically, that's 9 battles per floor, basically you'll have to do 90 battles in order to complete the Ice Tower. Let's head over to the rewards that you guys can get from doing 90 battles, or more. Well, you'll have to do more, but let's get to that. Instead of 10 floors, you'll actually have to climb 8 floors with 3 monster battles. So that's basically 72 monster battles which you guys will have to do. Now, on the Earth Tower, you guys will be able to encounter the pets known as Stampede, the Ivory Trip Prompt, the Ice Sneak, the Ice Collar, the Ice Creator, the River Creator, the Aqua Sturdy Fishbowl, the Shartek, the Keeper, the Tempest. What is the Tempest? I think I know what this is. Not only that, you'll be able to encounter the Flurious, the Benial, the Fathom, the Batteram, and the Batter Dash. So all of these pets over here are either ice or water pets. Seems like that these two pets are the only ones which you will be able to encounter in the Ice Tower. Now the prizes which you guys can get from spinning the wheel include the Shiver Tusks. Now basic now the Shiver Tusks, the Hiker's Parka, the Tracking Boots, the Sword of Ice, the Arctic Fox, the Adda's Chair. Apparently you can just pick up an Adda's Chair and walk away like it's nothing. And not only that, the Ice Resist Potion and the Snow Cone. Now the Tracking Boots which seems to have a hardness of 6. Which means they're not the worst items in the game, and nor are they the best. Now, of course, they're above average, but they're not. And as you guys can see, the only way to obtain this item is through the ice wheel. Now, next we have ourselves the Sword of Ice. The Sword of Ice is a wand which you guys will be, which you guys will obtain after while completing the ice tower. As you guys can see, it has a power bonus of 15, which means it's basically three fourths as powerful as the strongest wand in the game can be. The strongest wands can reach 20. And now the spell which can cast a snowflake strike, and obviously since it's a wand, it has a 3 person spell. And the only way to obtain it is from the ice wheel as well. And now on top of that, we have the hiker's part, if it has a heart bonus of 6. Now the maximum heart bonus is of 8, and that is not available, so this is 3 fourths as good as the highest armor. So if you guys don't have any armor, this would be worth it. And obviously it is only available from the ice wheel. And you guys can have a little look at it over here as well. Alright, next up we have ourselves the shivering tusks. And obviously you guys can tell this is a helmet in Prodigy that has a hard of 6, seems like they're following in with the rest of the set, with 3 fourths as strong as the strongest items. And observed over here, it can only be obtained from the ice field, it's obtained is through the ice tower, and you get it after completing 8 floors, right? Yeah, you get it after completing 8 floors, and then doing another floor. Alright, now obviously we cannot ignore the Arctic Fox. Now obviously the Arctic Fox is, well, a fox buddy given to us from the dark a fox buddy given to us from the uh, ice tower now as observed over here can only be obtained from well the tower right no the ice wheel tower it's um choice one of eight so it is the first choice which you get from the ice wheel now so basically that's a one in eight chance of being choose and let me give you guys some information about it so it's in-game description says the sa the sly creature can be found exploring the ice tower and what it looks like it has, it's the arctic fox but really it represents a blue and white arctic Alright guys, so that is basically all of the information of all of the armor which you guys can get. And of course if you guys are wondering, yes you guys will be able to just pick up Ada's chair and leave. So it seems like that it's available to everyone and let me see what else is on it. Yeah, you guys can just get this from the ice wheel. So apparently if you guys get it from the ice wheel, you can just pick up Ada's chair and leave. Apparently that's allowed, just pick up the chair and walk away. Nice. Or maybe it could be that the tower creates a duplicate of the chair. Well, we'll never know. But over here you guys can have yourselves a look at the ice tower open. And there are videos on it, right? You guys can have yourselves the inside look. And here's the background look of what it will look like when you're battling inside of the tower. And furthermore, we've all- And furthermore, the boss of the uh, tower has also been found. 
Alright, so the boss over here is Shadow Glacius. It seems like that this is the shadow version of the pet Glacius, which you had to fight in Crystal Caverns. Right, so you guys can see it basically stands guardian of the area, and it seems like that the spells we can cast are Snowling Ball, Spherical Crush, Shadow Shock, and Royal Roar. Alright, so you guys can see this is basically what it looks like in battle. Sorry for the resolution, I'll try to find it. Yes, as seen over here. Now, I think it, yeah. It's it said over here that this is mainly a purple version of the glaciers. So yeah, they found out what the boss is and nearly almost all of the information about the ice tower. And it should be released to normal players in like a few weeks or so. It's somewhere expected to be released between summer. So anyways, I hope you guys found this video a little bit more informational. Figured out about some items which you guys can get. Found out which pets you guys are missing and which ones you will be able to collect from here. And maybe got some information on the boss. So I hope you guys found this video informational and entertaining, and if you guys did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys haven't already, and I will be catching you all next time when Dr. Genie's out the house. Bye and have a good time. The Ice Tower is coming soon, along with new pets and buddies? Well, yes it is, and this is an episode of Prodigy Math Game Breaking News. Yes, you heard that right, Prodigy Math Game Breaking News along with the Ice Tower. So without further ado, let's get on straight to that. I'm your viable source of information, One Doctor Genius. Alright guys, so you may be wondering, what, what information do you have that the Ice Tower is coming? Well, first of all, there's a new pet in Prodigy. If you guys check your pet book over here and go to the very end on the very last page, you guys can see that a new page has been added, and now a new pet has been added. Pet number 154. Now if you guys click on pet 154 over here, you guys can see we have some sort of pet that has no description and you haven't seen the pet before. Right, so you can't see the status and everything, but what this shows is that there's a new pet in Prodigy. Now it seems like Prodigy's been adding these pets back to back, so that might be the first thing which you guys see. And of course my pet book is kind of glitched out at the moment. Alright guys, so if you flip to the last page of the book, which is now page 18, you guys will see over here the 154th pet is, well, a new pet in Prodigy, right guys? So over here you guys can see already Prodigy has added a new pet. Now you, get my, now you may say, well, this alone itself is not enough information. Well, if you guys check on the wiki, you guys can see that there are actually game files showing that Prodigy has added in characters for the Ice Tower, right? So let me just quickly open it up and show you guys some stuff. So over here you guys can see we have Ada, and if you guys have been playing Prodigy for a long time or right now, you guys know that, well, so far she's not in the game. Well, here's the thing. Basically, this is going to be the warden for the Ice Tower when it's released to everyone. Now, right now, the only way to update, alright? So you guys might be wondering, well, what's up with the pets? Well, first of all, you guys can see over here, we already have multiple different designs for the one character. Not only that, you also have the spreadsheet layout. Alright, so if you scroll down over here, you guys will know, because it's the Ice Tower, there are probably going to be 8 floors. Once you complete the 8th floor and free Ada from basically the tower, they'll give you a blizzard. Alright, so this is basically the new pet which has been added into Prodigy. Now, unfortunately, as of right now, there is no way to obtain it yet until the Ice Tower is officially open. And maybe you guys might be like, well, that's not enough information. Well, then let's go to the page on the Ice Tower. Right, so if you guys over here, you can see that even the Ice Tower thing is filled up over here, right? As observed here, you guys can see we have the prizes in the Ice Tower. We can get ourselves the Shiveling Tusk, the Hiker's Pack, the Traveler's Boots, the Sword of the Ice, the Arctic Fox, the Arctic Fox, and the Ice Resist Potion. So these are all items which are to be added into Prodigy along with the update. Now I do believe you're going to be able to get this from spinning the wheel, but you guys can see there are already items which you have information about. Alright guys, so just all of the information on the wiki already tells us that they've already been added in-game and Prodigy is probably just waiting to release the Ice Tower while adding in some final details. Alright guys, so that's basically all which I have to say on this update. It seems like we're getting the Ice Tower somewhere soon in the near future. And not only that, but for the Ice Tower, there's a certain thing. Not everyone is going to be able to place down the Ward in Stone. You have to be a certain level to place it down. Now, I do believe this was in one of my Prodigy videos where I showed you guys which level you have to be in order to place it down. Ah, also, it seems like Serbia has a question for us, let's just answer that. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, either way, the sneak pet will only be obtainable once you finish the Ice Tower. 
Not when you start it, but once you finish it. You have to finish the ice tower in order to get this pet. Alright guys, so I hope you guys found this video informational and figured out the update. And if you guys ask me, I think that the update might come out in maybe a week or two weeks. We'll find out, right? So guys, that's all for this video. I hope you guys found this video informational. And if you guys did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys haven't already. And I will be catching you all next time. One Dr. Genius out the house. Bye and have a good time.